This is the real Tom Rose, and this is a pretty challenging uh, simplification question. Um, what makes it challenging is, is a couple of things. One, they're asking you to factor two things. Um, sorry, these are these are your standard uh, poly, second degree polynomials, and they're asking you to factor those. So we're gonna basically what they're saying is do this: convert the top and bottom into into two binomials, factor them. Something will need to cancel out, so that you'll end up with, or both will can cancel out and you'll end up with some fraction with a binomial over a binomial, which matches the answer choices, right? That's, that's what I'm assuming is going to happen here. That's one challenge, is we have to do a bunch of factoring. The other challenge is the factoring that we're doing, um, usually you're dealing with just a single variable. You have A and then you have a bunch of numbers. In this case, we have A's and B's. The factoring is exactly the same process. You just, it's, for some, it's just a little bit weirder when you do it this way, but we're gonna press on and we're gonna make it. So first let's factor the top. Um, I'll just do these separately. So numerator is a squared minus 3ab plus 2b squared. And we're looking for, remember, two binomials. We want an a term um, and a b term in both. And they need to the a terms need to multiply um, to give you, um, so, sorry, the, uh, the a terms, uh, the ab terms, must um, multiply to give you the center. So basically what we're, here, let me fill in what we, let me fill in what you're missing. What you're missing here is the sine and the coefficient on the B term. That's what we're really hunting for. And the way that it works, the rules you can set up here are that when you, when you add together those two B terms, it should equal, so when you add together the coefficients, it should equal the coefficient on the AB term. And when you multiply them together, it should equal the coefficient on the b squared term. This is standard factoring. Um, I'm just kind of walking you through the, the constraints of factoring. So um, what two numbers, when you multiply them to give, together, give you two, and when you add them together, give you um, negative three? So those would be uh, negative two and negative one. Right, so I'm gonna put a negative two and a negative one. So rewrite this as a minus two b and a minus b. That is the factorization of the of the, the numerator. Let's do now the denominator. Same way. Um, we have two b squared plus a b minus a squared. And first, I'm going to reorder this so I put it in the same orientation as the numerator. So I'm going to get negative a squared um, plus two plus a b plus 2b squared. But I don't like this negative out front, so I'm gonna factor it out. So I'm gonna give you, make this negative a squared minus ab minus 2b squared. And I'm gonna factor it that way. Um, so now we need to do the same process again. So we're looking for a binomial, and it should have an a term and a b term. And what we're hunting for is the coefficient of the B term in both cases. And it's the same constraints. When you add them together, you should get the coefficient, which is negative one on the AB term. When you multiply them together, you need to get the coefficient of the B term. So now what, what works there? So the, the thing that works here is uh, one, a positive one, and a negative two, right? plus one minus two gives you negative one, which is this. So when you add them, you get the right thing. When you multiply them together, one times negative two, you get the negative two, which is the right thing over there. Now, okay, remember to keep that negative around. So now let's combine these, combine the numerator and the denominator so uh, we can actually solve this. So what you end up with is a minus two b times a minus b over negative a plus b times a minus 2b. And what you can see is what we expected to happen happened. We've got these two canceling out. And what you end up with is negative a minus b over a plus b. That negative is going to need to be buried somewhere. Let's see. Uh, we can bury it in the numerator. So negative a minus b is the same as b minus a over a plus b, which is the same as I'm looking at this fifth answer choice, b minus a over b plus a. Right, you can always reorder just addition. That is a match for fifth answer choice.